Hello YouTube, this is Morgan Airspeed Prime here with my next Avatar news update video. Two things to cover here in this video. The first and biggest piece of news, as you can see here, is the cover reveal for Avatar The Last Airbender, The Shadow of Kyoshi. So we've been, we've had this teased for a while. They actually did like a multi sort of layer tease of this. We got like an initial sort of like color palette almost reveal of the book then we got a tease earlier this week that we'd be getting news on the book and now we finally have the actual cover itself so here it is and as you can see uh, it uh, mainly emphasized here by the sort of red being the sort of primary color red and white though I think the initial tease was more of like red and black so it's interesting that it's a little bit more kind of light than we maybe expected. But I, I think it looks really, really good. I think that the cover just stands out that little bit more because it has a bit more going on. And um, it's not just Kyoshi's face, which I suppose worked for the first book, but was a little bit like, yeah, they could have done a little bit more. Here, it definitely has that little bit more of an action sense to it with, you know, Kyoshi in a nice pose. It really gets across with the angle. You can see that it is this younger Kyoshi compared to the way we usually see her in the series. And then that's our first look at uh, Rangi's character design. And it, it, it definitely fits in with the, the kind of brief description we got of her in the first book of like, okay, we knew she was sort of related to sort of Fire Nation military. So she was basically wearing that sort of armor and that exactly fits. Um, and because it's sort of older style, you know, it's a bit more pointy as I think was established in one of the... Um, in, the, in like the finale of book one, it was established that like it's older style Fire Nation armor with the kind of points. So that kind of works. And that's a nice little continuity stuff there. She has the top knot, of course. But the, the main thing here is just about getting the full details on like this is her exact hairstyle. This is the her facial structure and so on. And I think a lot of people are going to be interested in that. And that fan artists who really like the character, it's going to be um, a, a nice thing to have here. Some source material of this is what she looks like go ahead and uh, do some more art so I think that's that's probably the main thing to take away here like of course I'd love to see more art of like what the other characters look like from the first book and of course that we're going to meet in this book as well but um you know th this is a really good start it gets across that okay Kyoshi Rangi are going to be a duo in this book whereas at, at the end of Rise of Kyoshi they almost were implying that you know they were getting across this idea that they're going their separate ways for now and when they reunite again they, they may not be the same their dynamic may not be the same again they were almost already teasing some sort of a a split up or something like that between them but it seems like they come back together here um, and we'll see what exact direction they head in and uh, along with this cover reveal there's been no extra like information in terms of like new uh, new description or anything like that the news here is just this cover reveal which is of course very nice so uh, just some some very brief I suppose speculation on the book here is that you know we, we know the main plot is going to be sort of Kyoshi now public official as the avatar it's going to be her sort of interacting with world leaders and having to navigate that more political sphere that was sort of John Zhu's speciality now Kyoshi's going to have to interact with that because as the Avatar in the first book, she, she had the benefit of sort of being undercover and like choosing when to sort of out herself as the Avatar and when to act and she could remain undercover because she was basically part of like a, a kind of criminal organization. Now she has to do things in a more like official way. So it's going to be an interesting contrast between, you know, Kyoshi, who's fairly rough and tumble and then the, you know, <laughs> very sort of the, the completely different world that is the negotiating with world leaders and all that sort of stuff so th th that seems like completely outside of Kyoshi's comfort zone and we're going to see how she interacts with that that might be where Rangi sort of teaming up with her comes into to play quite well because we know uh, a good amount of this book is going to take place in the Fire Nation that's what they're sort of teasing into the description and that's realistically probably how the the reunion between them happens so um uh, as for like the exact plot like what is the big threat to like the world itself like they're getting across that something really big is about to happen you obviously assume it relates to Yoon in some way and that he obviously is enhanced in some way by 
uh, the spirits, you know, claw their glow worm and stuff like that. So, so that's going to have to be some level of what's going on. Unless we have a kind of political crisis about to happen and it's up to Kyoshi to try and avert it. Uh, that Unless they're, they're presenting that sort of thing. Like a war might happen if the negotiations don't go right. That, that could be kind of part of the way that they go with this. That, you know, the John Zhu being out of action, he's sort of been making a lot of these deals to stop these type of things from happening now that he's gone you know who's there to step up to to assist with the 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 to have the speciality in those type of negotiations that's going to be key but probably the biggest question i have about this book is just that because this is the second and last of the kiyoshi books like when it was first announced we knew it was just going to be two books this is realistically one of our last opportunities to kind of tell a story with kiyoshi like yeah you can always go back and do it somewhere but you have a book here, you have hundreds of pages to cover Kyoshi. Will they use this book, especially towards the end, as a way to cover the the other parts of her life? And that, of course, the main plot of this book and most of the story is going to take place over the same rough time period, like uh, a few a few days, weeks, maybe even a few months. That's a, that's about as much as maybe time you can expect to pass in the main story, but. Kyoshi lives to be 230 years old uh, and we most of the kind of feats and events that we know about Kyoshi taking part in happen within like the first 40 like two three years of her life so it leaves like 190 ish years that we just don't know anything really that happens in it in her life and the fact that like we basically know that that ability to kind of last that long and um, what she learned from uh, Lao Ji or Tiguai, whatever way you want to call him. Um, you basically just choose how long you want to do that for. It doesn't seem like... They, they sort of implied that, like, you know, once you commit to doing it, you can sort of, like, live kind of almost as long as you want. Once you keep track of that and, um, you know, kind of structure your body in the right way is basically what they kind of got across. So what makes Kyoshi choose to live just that long and no longer and like where does Coco come into play who's the father of Coco th th those kind of later things in her life that really would be nice to know about will this book in its epilogue cover the the sort of bigger parts of her life and why she chooses to live so long that's what I'm very interested to see about and that like I I'm not expecting you know half the book to just be time skipping through a hundred years of Kyoshi's life but I'd like at least a little bit at the end of this book to cover some of that stuff because uh, it just feels like sort of almost waste of potential if you don't um other piece of news is just that uh the toy fair is going to be coming up uh, next month and we have pretty much confirmation here that we will be seeing the characters in wave two and three of the diamond select avatar figures so no teases yet about what exact characters we're going to see they're just getting across that we will see wave two and three so that's going to be pretty exciting um you know of course we, we we more or less i think can obviously figure out who the characters are going to be uh though i'd say outside of the obvious like couple they could go some surprise directions with some of the choices and that like realistically we're going to get to see a bit probably six figures three from wave two three from wave three uh toff Sokka, azula feel like sort of locked in characters that you are for sure going to get uh and then beyond that like i would hope that they they do a suki but it's always questionable about if the you know the companies making these figures treat Suki in the same way as the fans want her to be treated so that's all that's going to be an interesting one about if they really want to do that you know Azula there could be some debate about like if they'll do her or not but I think she's like popular enough as the main villain that you probably have to do her Ozai is the main villain you think that they'll do her Iroh um and then it sort of you know leaves sort of uh, space for like one other character and it's like oh who did they go for did they do a, a remold of a, a different character um or what like did they do book three katara did they do book one ang book one zuko or some other character 
and that's something interesting in that like could we see just like a fire nation soldier as sort of like a, a troop builder character almost um i'm not i'm not sure I, I think they'll go for characters first before they do anything like that so you know i, I wouldn't rule out something like a, a roku uh, as potentially being uh, an option for for someone that they do but i think beyond just Toph and Sokka I think are just guarantees like I, I don't see any way you do six more figures and you don't include them given who you've done already and um, the rest I think there's a little bit of you know up for debate about who exactly they go for but um, should be very exciting still so yeah in the comments let me know what your thoughts are on this news what are your thoughts on the cover for the Shadow of Kyoshi our first look at Rangi and her official design and just in general what the cover is about what are your like early speculations for what we're going to see in the shadow of kyoshi and then your final speculation on what we will see um out of waves two and three of the diamond select action figures but uh yeah that's been the video thanks for watching and bye